The initial inspiration for Mumstead was a disastrous family holiday and all the parents who were there at this resort were bemoaning their choice. And at that point I thought, oh, wouldn't it have been nice to find out about it before we left? There's this thing called the internet where people can swap ideas. So maybe that's an idea for a website. I roped in a few people to help me. We came to the conclusion that if you can give advice about holidays, think of all the other stuff you can tap into. So it was not a genius idea, it was really very simple. I personally was in the right place at the right time. I mean, I'd come out of working for 10 years in the city. You know, the great thing about the internet is there are quite low barriers to entry. You didn't need a lot of money and I didn't have a lot of money, so that was useful. <laughs> Six months after we started, the whole sort of web bubble burst. So our business plan, quite frankly, wasn't worth the paper it was written on. We essentially grew organically. We did it from our back bedroom. We didn't have a huge cost base. We didn't have a fancy office in Clerkenwell. And we didn't have to hire and fire a load of people. For a very long time, when we had meetings, we would, <laughs> we would say to people, they'd say, oh, can we come to your office? And we'd say, no, we'll come to you because our offices are being refurbished. As many people who are much better at business than me have discovered, it's quite hard to make a buck out of the internet. Even Rupert Murdoch finds it hard to make a buck out of the internet. And it took a long time for us to go into the black and pay ourselves a decent salary. And we now employ over 50 people. We had a choice to stay small or, or grow a bit, and we chose to grow a bit. We have this huge stakeholder in our business and it's called, you know, the five million people who visit us each month. Without them, we're nothing. So if we don't listen to them, we'd be pretty stupid. The main thing is to think about why you're doing something. You know, are you doing it because you think there's a real need for it or are you doing it because you think, oh, I'd quite like to be a businesswoman. You've got to follow the utility and the need of your, of your idea. Listen to what your audience wants and keep listening and keep asking and they'll point you in the right direction.